Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here on the floor of DevOx UK talking to members of the Java community. I have Raul Gabriel Irma here with me today. Hello. Hello, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a delight to have you. So you're, you do a lot of things, and right now you're working on your PhD at Cambridge, right? Yes, yes. Uh, on? Um, yeah, so I'm a final year PhD at the uh, University of Cambridge, and my thesis is about programming language evolution. So... Turns out programming languages evolve every year, but um, code bases in general do not keep up with the pace of the evolution of languages. So for example, Java 8 is out now, but there are still a lot of code bases written in Java 1.4 or Java 5. So how do we get developers to migrate to the latest version of the language? That's a problem I'm trying to solve. Oh, good. When you solve it, will you let us know? Cause I we will would let love you know. To, yeah, cause Sell we, it to Oracle, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. Are you listening, Larry? Okay. So... Very interesting, and you, you just, you're working on a book right now, right? Yes, yeah, so um, I've been working on a book for about a year with uh, Mario Fusco, an engineer at Red Hat, and Alan Mycroft, a professor at the university, who's also my supervisor. And um, what we try to do is to have a really a complete reference about Java 8. So, of course, we, we, we talk about Lambda's expressions, we talk about the Streams API, but we also give the motivation for those types of things. And we talk about the, all, all the other features that people might not really know about, such as the new date and time API, completable features. Um, and in addition to that, we, we talk about functional programming. So we have three chapters dedicated to functional programming techniques. So is Java a functional programming language now? So that's an excellent question. And um, no, functional programming is all about mathematical functions with mathematical values. So this means there's a, a lot of importance for immutability and functions. So now Java 8 brings functional features. So there's the concept of first-class functions. So we can pass a function as an argument to another function, for example. And this feature is called lambda expressions or method reference in Java 8. And um, there's a gentle push towards adopting more immutability. For example, in Java 9, there's actually a lot of work about value types which want to enhance these sort of uh, features. So I think there's a, a search towards what types of features developers will benefit from in a lot of languages. Mm -hmm. And it seems like um, functional programming is definitely one of them, and Java 8 is uh, adopting this, these features. Right. So that, that might be a motivation to get people off 1.4 to a more current version of Java, right? Right, because there's so many benefits in terms of uh, code flexibility, in terms of uh, code readability, conciseness, and so on. So I'd strongly encourage everybody to check out Java 8. Right, and your book. What's the title of it? And a uh, book is named uh, Java 8 in Action, so very simple. Okay. And uh, published by Manning. Okay, and just a special bonus for listening to this video, you can get a discount. So look at the discount code right here, and you can get 10% off the book. That's pretty exciting. Thank you for sharing that discount with us. Also, you're up to some other things, I heard. Tell me what else you're doing. Yeah, so uh, my life is pretty busy right now. So um, with a few friends, we're thinking of starting the Cambridge Coding Academy. So it would be a, a curriculum of weekly physical classes complemented by an online teaching platform for 16 to 18 years old teenagers. And uh, why we want to do that is, you know, if I ask people, what do you think is the most language used in the world? they will say English. Well, it's actually computer code. Computer <laughs> code is spoken by billions of devices. So don't you want your, your kids to be able to, to, to control those devices as well? So uh, we're looking in, uh, into this. That's and very then, exciting. It's important not just to think about the future, but help create it, right? Yes, and um, we're looking for sponsorship. <laughs> so if you are there and are interested in this initiative, please do get in touch uh, with me. <laughs> Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you for dropping by. It's very exciting to hear about your book, your PhD you. work. Uh, it's a delight to have you as a part of the Java community. Thanks so much for having me again. Uh, all right. Thank you. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.